Alright guys, we are about to approach, well, actually we're not there yet, but we're probably in this video we're going to approach. I totally forgot about this. Yes, this is an homage to Kirby's Dream Land. So you know what? You can't play it with power-ups. Well, you can play it with power-ups, but that kind of defeats the whole purpose. But yeah. The only problem with it is, uh, Kirby, is Kirby and all his little emoticon things are still colored. If they made Kirby black and white, then it'd be awesome. Boom. You can't deny it. This is such an awesome last level. Seriously, I totally forgot this was here. For some reason, I think those cannons are still colored. I'm not sure. And Nintendo just said, oh, they're, they're black. Nobody will even notice. But yeah, they're, I'm pretty sure they're still colored. This is why this is the third best NES game ever. Yeah, I said it. I'm like becoming obsessed with Kirby. I have no idea really why, but I am. Oh, and I gotta say something about this area here. I'm pretty sure this entire level was actually remade in, uh, in Kirby Superstar, but because I, I definitely know that this area right here was brought back in Superstar. So I think that this entire level was brought back in Superstar, but I'm not sure. It wasn't black and white in Kirby Superstar. I just know for sure this area was in the Superstar. I have no idea how on earth I even forgot that was there. We can, we can actually go up here. There's like, what's up here? I just need to see what's up here. Oh yeah, this is where we're supposed to go. Never mind. And here's the most obvious Kirby secret of all time. And anyone who's played a Kirby game should know the secret. Because this has pretty much been in every single Kirby game. Well, I don't think it was in 64, but whatever. Yep, going into the moon. I, it's seriously been like in pretty much every Kirby game. Like, I'm not gonna lie, it's a genius puzzle, but really. Too bad this thing, this should have been black as white as well. But yeah, that's the, um, that's the last level in the game, and the most awesome one. Totally forgot about that. And yep, now we are approaching 100% the worst part of this game. We can't, we don't fight, we don't go there just yet. Damn it. We don't have six. I mean, yeah, we have six. We need five. I think it's five we need. And five is the only warp station we didn't get. Great. I think it's five. Wait a second. No, it's not five. Oh, wait, yes, it's five. Because five has boss spammer. And after this, after the final boss, you'll definitely know why I call Tornado boss spammer. Boss spammer, boss spammers. Pretty cool. I'm probably gonna fail so much on this boss. I am not lying. This, the final boss has to be. The entire game is so great, yet the final boss just blows so hard. I'm sorry, but it's true. 
my god. We are but so yeah, we are literally entering the worst part of the game. First of all, do not lose boss spammer or you are screwed. Yeah, this is pretty much all you can do. It's long and repetitive. Oh god. Oh thank god he didn't suck me up. If he sucked me up, I was screwed. Get the power up. Thank god. Do not lose boss spammer or you don't stand a chance on this guy. I don't even think it's possible to fight this guy. Like obviously it's possible to fight him with- it. Oh my god. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Yes! Thank God. Die King DDD. Nobody likes your style. Oh my God. One more hit and he is dead. Yes! <sighs> wow, I'm really proud of myself. I, like when I first met boss, I failed on him like 80 times. Because if you lose your power up, you've got no choice but to die. But it's totally worth it for this cutscene. Yay, happy. What the? Oh my god. <laughs> that is so awesome, it's unbelievable. Pew! And believe it or not, King DDD was helping us there. And now we gotta do this part. Oh my god, I hate this part so much. Like, it's kinda, like, it's actually really, it's a nice idea of the side-scrolling, of having, like, a sort of smuck, smuck stage in a Kirby, but... Jesus. It, it would've been okay if you just had to fight this guy. But you actually need to kill him in a certain time limit. And that's where this becomes insanely hard. I'm not kidding. It is freaking hard to fight. Like, this guy's easy to kill. It's just really hard to kill him in the time limit. Like, I'm, I'd much rather have them make this guy much harder and then give you... And then take away the time limit. Because fighting him in the time limit... Like, you want to take your time and dodge all his attacks, but you can't. Thank God. Okay, why am I doing so good all of a sudden? I honestly don't know why I'm doing this good. Because when I did the when I did both of those guys the first time I kept on dying. All right, let me guess. I'm gonna fail on this. And the reason I know I'm gonna fail on this is because the first time I did it, I actually beat this guy on my first try. So, I know that I'm going to keep on dying here and probably get a game over, and that's going to suck. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm probably going to fail. This is actually really cool, though. I just want to say that. Oh, yeah. Just stay down here in the corner. Yeah, this is really... This really is actually what you're supposed to do. Well, you're not supposed to do it, but... It's pretty much what everybody does, so... Man... I really don't want to die on this. Oh god. Yep, I'm probably gonna die. I wonder what happens if you die on this guy. I really... Yeah, I died. Whatever. I'll just cut the video here.